Good morning, Modern Setters. Today we're going to be working on trimming out the off-grid outdoor kitchen. But first, I'd like to know what you thought in yesterday's video having some GoPro footage in it. Leave it down in the comments below. Is that something you liked? Would you like to see more of it? Let me know. It's the first time I've done it and I really didn't know what everybody was going to think about it. So today we're going to start with putting a piece of trim here and then we'll put our piece here. And at the top, I'll show you, we're only going to go up to there. We're not going to go all the way up. We'll put a little chamfer on the top corner. I'll tell you what, putting all those boards up under the overhang yesterday, that was a lot of work. Still feel it in my shoulders today. Must be, it must mean I'm getting old. What's the old saying? I'm not as young as I once was. Now I'm just going to turn the chop saw so I can put a 45 chamfer on the top of this. At least this way in the top, where there's nothing for it to butt up against, it'll have a nice little 45 on it. It'll look nice for the pigs on the back side. I broke my coffee mug the other day and my beautiful wife and my daughter bought me this nice new one. And it's so much bigger. Look at how much coffee that can hold. Now that's a modern Stetter coffee cup. Yep. Now we got our milk gun. And our hair. Let's get this trim up. Good morning. Good morning. You're all dirty. Did you like all the rain making fresh mud for you? All right, let's get this board up. I want to get it flush with the bottom. Make sure it's flush with the edges. Sometimes it's hard with all the sun coming out and getting a glare. I hope you guys can see it enough. So what we need to do is we need to push this trim board over to flush the ends up and then nail it and work our way up. And the higher up we go, the more leverage we'll get. I'm just gonna go get my ladder and continue doing that all the way up. I'm surprised you're not coming any faster. I got more. You got more? Oh, here comes Mrs. Pigs. Cleaning out the refrigerator. All right. 
the pin up on this side. Now we really didn't need to do this, but for me this just really finishes up the look. Also on the overhang area can be a little tricky just because you don't have much room. Get a close up of it. You got your nice trim, just kind of finishes off the corner. Now we can start closing in the window and trimming it out. I'm looking forward to seeing the windows all trimmed out. It'll be interesting to see the outcome and how it all looks. I like that. That'll look nice. All right, now I need to get a width here and rip down a board to fill in on this side. And that side. We can start trimming out the window. So I'm needing little pieces right now. I'm looking for scraps so I can use all them up and I'm not wasting full length boards. We had some company over last night and I was showing him the off-grid outdoor kitchen and he was looking out the windows and he said, that's not a good window. I said, why is that? He said, because you can't even tell it's there. I said, yeah, I feel bad for the birds. So we got the window all cased in. Then I was thinking I might be better off casing out the other window, getting them both to the same point and then when I get to this point, I'll know what I'm doing for both sides and I can come from one side to the other and just get it done. So let's go on the other side of the off-grid outdoor kitchen and start trimming in that window. The reason why I'm putting in a board going this way on the window is I just find it helps strengthen up. I'm gonna cut this down. But helps strengthen up this half wall. It's pretty flimsy right now. We'll get this nailed in place and I'll show you. Can you see the flex? I don't think the camera's picking up, but there's a good flex right there. That's why I want to put this board in place and it'll help take away some of that. Hey, look at that, look at the glove. We don't want to put this side so tight because this window opens. So we want to have a little bit of a gap here. Once we get this all done, even just right now, that's strengthened up the wall quite a bit. If it moves, it moves all in unison. It doesn't wobble. Try this. See how we did.
Now the board we're going to be putting up right here, I had to notch it out for the hardware, for the sliding hardware, if it was the same width as this, the hardware would hit. If I kept this, if I kept the board this narrow, there'd be a huge gap for air to come in. So we just notched it out. And now we just got to figure out our trim situation around the window. All right, let's get this trim board on. bottom board in place. real nice. Let me put a couple more nails down this end. Now we're ready to go do the other side. This one up in place. Just enough to hold it for us. Now we gotta go get the other one. Let's set this one in place. Our last trim board for the window. You want to see the window all trimmed out? Do I? Yeah. Yeah, the, all the windows are done. I just finished it up. Oh, it's ready for my window box. Yep, oh, next nice. spring. Very nice. Want to see the other side? Yeah. Got more pig food for you. What's that? I got more pig food. Oh, that's fun. Does that look nice? Very nice. All trimmed out. Who's going to wash those windows? Not me. You're going to wash those windows. <laughs> no, I don't like washing windows. I don't think anybody likes washing windows. Can I get a big squeegee? Yeah, but like this is all done on both sides. That's what the front looks like. That looks nice.
we really enjoy getting all the comments from the modern steaders and we try to keep up and there's one thing that I just keep getting like a common community or a common sense to with all with all the comments and lots of questions you guys want to know more you want to dive deeper we want to be able to do that for you and we're working on to having a website where we can dive deeper with blog posts and then you guys can comment over there and let us know what you want and we can go even deeper for you if that's something you want hope you enjoyed today's video if you did make sure you give it a thumbs up share it it's really helping the channel grow we're almost at 10,000 subscribers. And by the time this video airs, we could be at 10,000 subscribers. So we want to thank you, the Modern Steaders, for that. And we'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye.